What can I say, people? What can I say? Thank God for Jack Smith. Thank God, literally. Going to get a tattoo of him. Seven indictments and more to come for the worst president in the history of our country. A horrible human with no moral code, with no ability to be honest and to be truthful. And he's a criminal. And he's a horrible, horrible person. And I know half of you listening to this don't believe it. You can't believe it because you're in a cult. And when you're in a cult, you believe anything that the leader says, even if it's bad for you. You vote against your own interests when you're in a cult. You do whatever the leader says. Well, this leader is not a leader. He's a horrible, horrible human being. And he gets what he deserves. This is what he deserves. And on Tuesday, we'll all see him do the perp walk in Miami. I hope they cuff him. I hope they don't give him uh, bail. I hope that um, he gets everything he deserves. That's a lot of bad karma coming right at you, Donald. Life is good. Oh, shut up, silly woman. A few moments later. Mike Rapp, why are you in a parking lot ranting about Donald Trump? Because my wife told me if you if you talk about it in the house, if you talk about it in the crib, I'm going to beat you with your selfie stick. They got him twice, two times. Three's a charm. I want that hat trick. I want that hat trick for that January 6th indictment. They got you again. Unprecedented stuff for an unprecedented pile of shit. Last time it was the E. Jean Carroll thing. Too handsy. Inappropriate conduct, conduct with a woman. This time theft. You stole from the White House. You stole from the White House. No one could touch me on the... They got you again. Twice. Two times. You are a f***ing moron. I'm sure most of you have heard by now, but Donald Trump has been indicted once again. Probably more to come. And of course, of course, the Hollywood libs are ecstatic. Oh, they love it. You have Michael Rappaport, who clearly has something wrong with him. Loves it. Then we have Monkeypox Rosie, who I don't know if you guys remember, but about a month ago, I played one of her TikToks where she was saying, we're voting blue no matter who, riding with Biden. It's like, are you sure it's the other side that's in a cult, Rosie? Anyway, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Quick Clown World update since we are still in Pride Month. Let's see what's going on with the Rainbow Coalition. So we have this here. It says the United Nations replaces all 193 country flags with LGBT flags. That's in Rockefeller Center in New York City. Check it out. All right. So I'm walking back to my hotel. Past Rockefeller Center. That's where they usually put the Christmas tree in New York. And I, you know, I've got no problem with LGBTQ, whatever you, whatever. But give me a break. I mean, you're supposed to have 193 flags on this street. There's supposed to be a flag from every country. And instead, I mean, it's like, give me a break. <laughs> every single one of these flags is the gay flag. They took 193 flags down, okay? And put nothing but the gay flag. This sounds very gay. Well, at least they didn't go overboard with the pride flags in Rockefeller Center, right? Wow. Wow. Anyway, next up we have San Francisco's first responder pride celebration. So this is police, fire, and EMT in San Francisco. Now, Lady Gaga's song, Born This Way, is playing in the background of this TikTok, of course. So I'm just going to leave it on mute to avoid any copyright issues, and we'll just go through it together. Roll the film, please. So Pride 2023, flag raising at county jail number three. The inmates must be thrilled. Sheriff, police, fire. Hmm. A call for unity, visibility, equality. Sheriff department. Oh, boy. SF first responders. Happy Pride. Ha! Gay! 
I don't know about you guys, but the thing that stood out to me about that clip was the diversity of police and sheriff's officers there in San Francisco. They want us to give up our Second Amendment rights to let people like that try to protect us. That's going to be a hard pass. I'll take my chances. Not to mention San Francisco has turned into a dystopian hellscape with human all over the street, literally. Anyway, next up we have a tweet from Prime Minister Blackface, excuse me, Dictator Trudeau, excuse me, Prime Minister Trudeau, sorry, um, for Pride Month showing his support for the LDB, LPD, come on. LGDP, uh, LGT, LBT, LGBTQ2+. I'm fairly certain that is exactly what I just said. Whatever, potato, potato, I guess, right? Anyway, so Prime Minister Justin Trudeau of Canada tweeted out, It's official. The pride flag is once again flying high on Parliament Hill. Let's keep building a country where you can be who you are and love whom you love. Openly, freely, and proudly. Happy Pride, everyone. Roll it. I can tell you, sir, is that he's gay. Gay, gay! Okay, so that pretty much catches us up with what's been going on out there in Clown World with Pride Month. Now, a few videos back, I said it's officially the United States of gay. I need to update that. It is actually the whole Western world that has been completely propagandized with rainbows and pressed fruit bowls. So, if anybody tells you this is not an agenda, there's no agenda, just show them these videos. It's crystal clear. That there is. <laughs> anyway, ladies, if you're going to argue that your chromosomes make you a woman, I think this guy begs to differ. Biology matters. Chromosomes prove what a woman is, says the comment. Roll it. I never said biology didn't matter. I just said it's not the only science that matters. But please tell me, Mary, when was the last time you and the girls got together to chit chat about your chromosomes? Like what? Do you have cocktails and chromosomes every Thursday? XX girls only? Leave the Y at home? Reducing womanhood to basic biological functioning hurts all women, not just trans women. You f***ing crazy man. You sound insane. Do you realize that? You should be medicated. Now, I'm sure at this point most of you know that when I play TikToks and clips like that last one, I can't say what's really on my mind. I do have to self-censor, and that's because of the platform we're on. YouTube has gotten really bad over the past year or so, and it's a very bizarre business model. YouTube is literally creating their own competition. If they were just free and fair across the board, there would be no need for Rumble and these other platforms. But then again, what do I know, right? So just a quick update. I'm really excited to announce that in the very near future, I am going to be starting a platform either on Locals, which is on Rumble, free speech platform, or Subscribestar. Now, I haven't decided which one. Most likely, it's going to be Locals, where it's a paid subscription service, and I will be uploading two, two special episodes onto that platform, whichever one I choose, um, two a week. So you'll be getting the regular uh, YouTube videos, and there will be two separate videos that I upload a week to these, the paid subscription service, completely uncensored, no bleeping out the cuss words, and I'm going to warn you ahead of time, guys. It's going to be very offensive. Some of you may not like it. I mean, my humor gets pretty dark. So I, I know a lot of you guys here have the same sense of humor that I do, but it might be a little too offensive for even some of you guys. I, just saying. So, but I will let you know when, uh, when I do launch that. I'm excited about that. Also, t shirts should be coming. We got some great merch coming, some great t shirts coming. Hopefully, in the next few days, they're going to be up and ready to roll and it's just in time for pride month so doing some changes over here and i think we're going to start doing two videos a day on youtube as well um i haven't decided if i'm just going to go a little bit longer with the videos or make two a day but i gotta start making some changes they're just they're trying to crush this channel and we're not going to let them and every time they try to crush us i'm just going to come back harder and stronger we're just going to keep pushing harder and harder and harder so that's how it's going to be. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. So let's hear from this uh, rainbow-haired doctor about COVID. Roll it. 
I'm going to go on record about this for COVID as a doctor right now. Since the vast majority of people in this country are under or not at all with the bivalent booster that would cover for any COVID we are seeing right now, I'm going to tell you for a hundred percent certainty that the symptoms of COVID we are seeing now are from COVID and not from the vaccination. Uh, thank you. As a doctor right now. You're not a doctor. You're, you're a f***ing idiot. So one of the most bizarre things to me around this whole pronoun phenomenon is how these people will say, my pronouns are vamp, vamp self, or frog, frog self, or dirt, dirt self. These are pronouns. But they will still say you have to use my preferred pronouns, which change every other day, or you are a hateful bigot. Very bizarre. Anyway, so this person, we've played this clip on the channel a while back, but it's going viral again on the interwebs. And it, this person claims to have DID, dissociative identity disorder. So they got multiple people living in their head and multiple different pronouns that aren't pronouns. And uh, it's all so confusing. Roll it. Hello, I'm not Magpie. I'm Tal, but I can explain. So Magpie's pronoun set is it, bug, dirt, they, right? It and they are used normally. So its name is Magpie, the sweater belongs to it, and it was going by itself. And then their name is Magpie, this belongs to them, they were going by themselves. For Bug it would be Bug's name is Magpie, the sweater belongs to Bug, Bug was going by Bug's self. And then for Dirt it would be Dirt is Magpie, the sweater belongs to Dirt, Dirt was going by Dirt's self. You can use these interchangeably in a sentence, you can use just one of them, or you can use different ones at different times. Hope this helps. I don't know what the f*** you're talking about. These people must have notebooks where they keep track of all this stuff. Like, what are their names going to be for that day? What their pronouns are going to be for that day? And, I mean, I couldn't keep track of all this. But then again, I am busy doing adult stuff. <laughs> anyway, um, so this next one, this person is talking about a book that they wrote. And, you know, whatever. I get no problem with that as long as you're not pushing these books on kids. That shouldn't be pushed on kids. But what fascinates me about this one is... This person is sitting in a room by herself with a mask on the f What are you doing? Roll it. Are you looking for a new story to read this month? I mean, it is Pride Month, so you want to read stories related to Pride and related to LGBTQ characters, right? No. Well, if you do, then I have some news for you. My book is actually up for pre-order right now. And while it is just pre-order, you can't actually get a physical copy at the moment. You can read every single chapter as I upload it. So if that interests you, uh, definitely check out my book and let me know what you think. Personally, I think you're a an idiot. Has a trans main character as well as uh, two separate gay love interests in the book and plenty of A-spec representation and other gender non-conforming representation. So if you like that, why don't you just hang out or check out my book? How about new? Now that's not an old TikTok. That was from very recently. It wasn't back two or three years ago and it was smack dab in the middle of the scam -dem excuse me, plandemic, excuse me, pandemic, sorry. I just don't understand the people with their obedience masks on sitting in a room by themselves talking to their camera. I saw someone the other day driving a car by themselves with had the obedience mask on their face. And I know there was a bunch of people when it was all ending saying, I don't want people to think I'm a conservative or a Republican, so I'm going to keep masking up. It's like, eh, you keep doing that and people won't think you're a Republican or a conservative, but they're going to know you're a idiot so I guess that's up to you anyway this next one now I often say in these videos that these people are trolls we're all getting trolled they're master trolls well I don't think this kid is a master anything it may be a baiter but anyway I don't this this has to be a joke right the caption says when someone messes with me but doesn't know I was raised in the streets now, there's obviously, obviously a rap song playing in the background talking about bussing heads and stuff, but I'm not going to get any copyright strikes, so this has to be a joke. It has to be a joke. Roll it. I 
you tough. Think you're tough, huh? You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. Okay, you little pimply little. All right, guys, before we go any further, I want to give a huge shout out to the sponsors of today's video. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to leave this picture on the screen for your viewing pleasure, of course. And now in celebration of Pride Month, I wanted to remind you guys of a couple of things. First reminder that this is what the modern day woman looks like. Second reminder is this is nothing short of stunning, a brave, and beautiful. Got it? Good. Today's video is being brought to us by first sponsor, our great friend, Kathy from Long Beach. Kathy, thank you so much for sponsoring yet another video. Truly appreciate the love and support, Kathy. You're the best. Thank you. Second sponsor of today's video is our great friends over at the channel, YouTube channel, Lynn and God's Angels. Lynn and God's Angels, thank you guys once again for also sponsoring another video. Now, if you're looking for some nice, relaxing music to meditate to, just to relax to, Highly recommend you going over and checking out Lynn and God's Angels YouTube channel, which I will link in the description box below. Check it out after this video. I'm sure they would greatly appreciate some love and support over there. Now, if you'd like to sponsor the next video and help support the channel, there is a PayPal link in the description box below. And I will say your full name as a sponsor of said video unless stated otherwise by you. And we got to get this off the screen. Oof. You look ridiculous. All right, guys, we're going to be wrapping it up on this one because... I simply can't take anymore. I just can't. And I'm fairly certain you guys can't either. We've all had way, way, way too much brain aids for one day. So we're done. We're done. We're done after this one. So I say this country's fallen. We're done. That's a wrap. Society's collapsed. And, and this is just more proof of that. This is Democratic Congressman Robert Garcia out of California. And he is on the floor of the Congress here speaking. And his, what he says here, what he uses his time for is absolutely f***ing absurd. I can't believe this is real. It's real, though. This is C-SPAN. It's real. Anyway, guys, things are clearly getting crazy out there. So please, please, please take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Till next time. Love you guys. Peace. Roll the film, please. Mr. Speaker. The House Library is open. Now, I rise to commemorate the start of Pride Month by honoring the one and only queen of drag, RuPaul. RuPaul Charles has become an American phenomenon and an icon. Nobody has more charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent than RuPaul Charles. Now, Ru's career launched as a drag performer in New York, and then as a successful pop artist releasing his first hit album, Supermodel of the World. In total, he has released 15 studio albums. RuPaul also became the first gay black man to host his own talk show, The RuPaul Show. He is most known, of course, for his multi-Emmy award-winning show, RuPaul's Drag Race. Now, Drag Race and its many domestic and international spinoffs has put drag in the global spotlight. The show has helped launch and uplift the careers of thousands of drag queens and artists. But more importantly, the show has served as a critical space to discuss issues around inclusion, trans rights, mental health, and self-worth. And this message couldn't be more important as the LGBTQ plus community continues to fight for equality and acceptance. The world needs more love and yes, more RuPaul. I want to thank RuPaul Charles for his years of leadership in our community and his activism. This Pride season, as we recommit to celebrating diversity, difference, and self-love, we must always remember what RuPaul so famously says. If you can't love yourself, how the hell are you going to love somebody else? Thank you, and I yield back. Is this some kind of sick joke? <laughs> and you ain't black.